Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Spiritual Growth Tarot. <laughs> I'm Denise, and this reading it will be for uh, using the I'm sorry using the uh, Lightseers Tarot, and it's going to be for Sunday, February seventh, twenty twenty one. So as usual, three cards to help us evolve, to bring us a a spiritual message based in spiritual law that can help us do some soul retrieval work and get back home to who we truly are. Okay, so for the theme, we have the Two of Swords reversed. So I think for some of us, um, we, well, either we are refusing to make a decision, and especially one that could help us move forward, uh, you know, in our leadership, right? Because the King of Wands is all about the leadership. It's all about that place where we have our natural, you know, spiritual talents, uh, our natural essence that um, can inspire us. And I love this card. I don't know if you can see, let's see if it'll focus. See the salamander there on his t-shirt? And I, I don't know what, um, oh, it's a lion, I think, on his tattoo there. I'm not sure, honestly. Um, but, you know, he's got a lot of power there. We have a lion in the background. And, you know, the card, the or I'm sorry, the king of wands, is all about the power to move forward, to be in your courage, and to um, go for what you want, to go for what you really, really want. And to know that you can create that. Um, sometimes it has to do with just physically walking, getting out and walking. Like if you're having trouble making a decision, just getting out and walking and moving your body will help you get in touch with whatever feelings maybe are um, a little stuck or stagnant. And, and then that will help you trust your instincts. Uh, but... You know, this this card is about, you know, change, and it's all about, uh, you know, being really, really honest with yourself. Uh, it can have to do with a, a person who comes into your life who's very loyal and... Um, but strong, you know, and strong in their leadership. So if this if this is a quality that you're trying to um, develop within yourself, this can sometimes be a mentor, you know, a bit of a role model. Or it could just be you stepping into your, your own power, which is absolutely perfect. Now, with this Two of Swords here reverse, like I was saying, I, it, sometimes, now every once in a while, well, or maybe let's say half the time, <laughs> you know, because we, we do live in duality, so 50% 50, 50 of the time, you know, things are going to, going to go well for us and the other half we're going to be trying to make you know good decisions so sometimes this card comes in when we're afraid of making the choice making a choice and like maybe there is no right choice at this point um, it could be that someone has lied to you and especially someone in your family maybe or community and, and it's been exposed, and now you're having to step into your leadership because, because this person isn't, um, whoever this person is that has lied to you, now you know that they're not trustworthy. But that's okay, because you, through this process, we always learn to trust ourselves. So, you know, that's, uh, that's one of the gifts when it, when it comes to having trouble with um, other people and them lying or, or manipulating in any way. Uh, you learn to trust yourself because we all have those places inside where it's like, oh, I always felt like there was something off. Or this person's very trustworthy most of the time, but then this one little thing happened and uh, maybe you realize that they were just in fear, that maybe the lie was there because they were afraid of of being real. You know, that can happen. Uh, sometimes with this combo here, it could be somebody who's not loyal. And and now you know, right? Uh, sometimes 
is just somebody who's a little two-faced and they talk behind your back and maybe it came out through another family member and now you know uh, you know where they're not trustworthy which you know that that might not mean that you want to stay friends with them or not or it might mean that it's okay to stay friends with them but you just know uh, where you can't trust them you know so other times when the two of um the two of swords comes up it can be that uh, i'm sorry when it comes up reversed it can be that um you're you've made a good decision and you're released and and now your your full power can come through but there's still a little trouble with the four of wands here you know reversed um because in in essence that card has to do with arguments and having some you know problems in the home it can even be uh you know somebody who's treated you in a way that you're like not not welcome anymore or maybe maybe they did lie and now you know they're not welcome in your home anymore because maybe they've lied over and over again and this is a repeat right and you've had it you know maybe you're stepping into your leadership against you know this these like repeat offenses so i Let's see if there's anything else. Well, if we were to take a reversal and go to, you know, you guys know my my, my technique where sometimes I will go to the card before it, the, the card, you know, sequentially before the reverse card. So in this situation, that brings in the Ace of Swords. And, of course, that is all about, you know, clarity and truth and bringing in a new opportunity, like having a new vision. So if I combine these two, I feel like the new vision or maybe the new clarity and the new truth that, that would open up the way would be to ask yourself, what if I just moved forward in life in, you know, under my own authority, under my own leadership, and I you know, inspired myself to just move forward from my power? And like I said, with the salamander here, the salamanders are all about regeneration, they, they never stop, you know, growing. They're, they're the kind of little creatures that can, well, until they, until they die, until they cross over, they don't stop growing, but then they grow on another level in some other way. I guess <laughs> nothing ever really dies, you know, in reality. Uh, but on Earth, it seems to be that way. But anyway, these little creatures, are they're like some lizards where, you know, you or lizards as well, where if they lose their tail, they can grow a new one. It takes a little time, but I think salamanders grow faster. So it brings in that element of regeneration, always renewing your sense of purpose, inspiring yourself to step into your power and to move forward. It's a very, very courageous card. And it doesn't matter if maybe in the past you think you made the wrong decision. It's okay. Just make a new decision and start over. And it doesn't matter if someone you let into your close you know, circle of friends and community um, has maybe not proven to be who they who they said they were. That doesn't matter. You just keep going. You just keep going in the direction that you want to go. That's the most important thing. Now, if I were to go backwards with the Four of Wands, of course, that brings us into the territory of the Three of Wands. And um, that, you know, that can be, you know, like, wanting to go back home. Um, it can also be some self-doubt. So, I, yeah, I, I feel like the, the, the more I sense into these this combo here, this does bring in that element of having trouble making decisions because you're not so sure of yourself. And you're, you're, so you're doubting yourself just because you haven't made the decision in the past. But maybe you didn't have all the information, and, and now you do, and you're going to stop, you know, this spiraling of, like, self-doubt and um, feeling kind of stuck. And the way through is going to be with this guy, you know, with, or with this energy and consciousness that has to do with, with moving forward and trusting yourself. 
and just going for what you want. I think that's always the key, is to go for what you want. Like No matter what it is that happens that gives us trouble in life, no matter what feelings come up, no matter what um, you know, people give us trouble, or um, you know, if they're not mirroring back to us our brilliance and our love and our light, then don't take it personally. Instead, just go for what you want. And underneath all those feelings that sometimes family members and other people who are not seeing clearly, and even those who lie to us, uh, underneath whatever feelings that brings up, those experiences uh, brings up for us, you just always sense into what it is that you were really wanting and go for that. Just go for what you truly want. And, and know that when you align with that power, when you align with your higher self and you're moving forward from your higher self, then that doesn't mean that, you know, little pockets of fear uh, and indecision and self-doubt don't still pop up. But the deal is, is if you just keep focusing on what it is you're wanting to create, that will always be the way through. You know, because the fear can be there once you start. You know, like I remember the very first video I ever did. And then, uh, especially like, you know, speaking face-to-face -face on camera, it, it's a weird thing because you can, and you, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about, where you feel the fear coming up. and But then once you start, it just, it just dissipates, you know? <laughs> So basically, you you know, you just you just start and you feel the fear and you go anyway, and then the fear just just goes away. It, it's it's one of those just crazy situations, but it's it's life and it's the way uh, it's the way we overcome our fears and we move forward in what it is we're trying to create. So, okay, well, I think that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for listening, and I wish you all the love in the universe, and I'll be back soon, and take good care. Okay, bye.